want to be a better Nazebo player, that's what I'm going over in this mistakes newbies make. When first playing Nazebo, you can immediately recognize that he plays differently than all of the rest. I didn't really get how to play him. He felt like he wasn't doing enough damage, was really weak, and would die in all the team fights. Once I mastered his abilities though, he became a hero that caused many problems for the enemy team. Nazebo's passive is a poison and allows you to receive mana and health back if the enemy dies while under the effects of his auto attack. This means that last hitting or close to last hitting is actually important for Nazebo. A mistake new players make is allowing a minion to die without the voodoo ritual effect. This is important for sustaining and essential if you have the death ritual trait as it adds to your total health and mana over the course of the game. So unless you have a good reason like you're pushing a wave, keep an eye on those minions health bars. With Nazebo's Q, you throw a jar of spiders at your enemies. It does damage when it lands so be sure to throw it on top of your enemy. Use it to disturb a hero trying to gather an objective. Also know that you are granted vision from your spiders so throw your jar to scout ahead or into a bush to find enemy heroes waiting to ambush you. With your E, toad spawn from you and jump. While decent at pushing waves, this ability can uncloak an invisible hero. So throw some toads out there if you suspect someone is lurking. However, it is best used in conjunction with your last ability, Zombie Wall. Zombie Wall is what makes Nazebo a threat. You can trap your enemy within it and pick up an easy kill, or you can use it to drain some ammo out of a turret. Be sure to quickly cast W again if you happen to trap your own teammates within the prison to lower the circle. It takes some practice to trap heroes. You need to cast ahead of the direction the hero is walking in order to catch your target. Once mastered, you can be the key play that saves your teammates from death. Other tactics include grabbing an easy kill by trapping the enemy near a fort or tower and allowing it to do the work for you. Try using the zombies as a wall to prevent your opponent from ever reaching safety, and box out key players from the team fights you're about to have. New players don't realize that you can all cast zombie walls and use them as a way to retreat from a fight you know you won't win. So if being chased, hold ALT, then hit W while running away and you will likely capture your enemy and make it to a safe spot. However, do note that this trick isn't going to work for everyone. Now for his ultimate. Unless your team is in desperate need of a mini tank, pick up Ravenous Spirit. Gargantuan is cool, but surely you can't get a quad kill because you picked up Gargantuan, right? I can. Now stop calling me Shirley. Combo your ult with Zombie Wall by first trapping a hero, then having your spirit attack the trapped victim. Notice the placement of the spirit too. This allows me to prevent the hero from running to his teammates, or to quickly go to the next target once he's dealt with. Remember you can use the spirit to quickly kill the bruiser camps, just be sure to put up your zombie wall first. The main mistake newbies make is the position they use while channeling the ravenous spirit. Since it is a channeled ability, you can be interrupted, so when you use your ult is just as important as where you use your ult. Take a look at this clip for an example. In it, I use my spirit to do massive damage to the entire team, but look where I am standing. There are two things wrong here. I'm extremely close to the enemy team, and I'm also able to be hit through the tree lines. Though I do get a double kill, I die and Nova can move on to finish the rest of our team. She outpositioned me. Maybe the fight would have gone differently had I stood here instead. So why was the last clip so much better? Take a look at what I did before I used my ult. I put myself specifically behind the wall and ulted over it because I knew there was no way for the enemies to reach me. I had my team there to support me and the wall on top of that. I was in a great position. Here's another example of bad positioning on my part. I tried to put myself away from the team fight and behind a wall even, but I had no support from my teammates, so I was easily able to be targeted and killed by the enemy team's assassins. Merely being behind your teammates is usually all you need in order to set yourself up correctly. Here I narrowly escaped Zagra's ult, but because I was far enough back, she didn't have enough time to target me and opted for the closer hero. Then my ult killed two heroes and seriously injured the rest. We were then able to clean up for the quad kill. Nazebo's ult makes all the difference when used correctly. I hope all of that was useful for you. What are some of your tips for Nazebo? All of the footage you saw was from my Twitch, so I would love if you would go over there and give me a follow. And be sure to subscribe because next video I'm going over Tychus. Boom! Boom!